Health News, Eye on Agriculture with Britton Rucker. K-State sounding the alarm warning farmers of a pest that could ruin their crops this spring. The details just ahead. Plus, we're checking in with the latest coming out of the FSA, including an opportunity on a program that could put some money back in your pocket. And as prescribed burns pick up in the Flint Hills, 16 Kansas counties under a burn ban. A look at why that ban's in place. Good evening and welcome into Ion Agriculture. I'm Britton Rucker. The largest fresh egg producer in the U.S. stopped production at a Texas plant after bird flu was found in its flock. Calmaine Foods says it destroyed 1.6 million hens. A new case of bird flu has also been detected at a Michigan poultry plant. Meanwhile, a human case of the bird flu has also been reported in Texas after a person came into contact with a dairy cattle suspected of being infected. It comes after federal agencies announced cattle in Texas, Kansas, and Michigan have contracted the virus. K-State Research and Extension warning western Kansas landowners about a common springtime pest. We're talking about miller moths. They lay their eggs in late summer and become caterpillars, which then feed on crops. Case 8 says there are treatments available to prevent damage, but those treatments can also harm beneficial insects common in the Kansas wheat field. 16 Kansas counties now under burn restrictions for the entire month of April. The annual ban is an effort to offset increased smoke and air pollution from controlled burns in the Flint Hills. 12 News reporter Kale Chapman talked with firefighters about why it's so important to take a break from burning. People literally take hedgerows out and pile up you know, 30 foot high piles of trees and set them on fire. That's permitted in March and it's permitted in May. Just don't do it in April. Burn restrictions are in place in 16 Kansas counties as farmers in the Flint Hills burn their land for the spring. In that April time frame, they'll burn and they get that, that new grass growing and then they put their stalkers out there and that new grass is very nutritious. You get a lot of good weight gains on it. Sedgwick County Fire District 1 Fire Marshal Brad Crisp says the burns are needed to ensure air quality. We don't want you doing things that would produce smoke and potentially create an air quality problem in Wichita and Central County. In all 16 counties, new open burn permits will not be given. Current permit holders will not be allowed to burn, and burning trash or brush piles will not be allowed. But Fire Marshal Brad Crisp says some fires can still happen. If you have a little chimney in your backyard and you want to, you know, do some hot dogs or have a cookout or a barbecue. That's fine. You can run your smoker and smoke chickens. That's perfectly acceptable. Kansas Forest Service Assistant Fire Management Officer Dennis Carlson says no matter when you plan to burn, it's best to check local rules. If you're going to be doing any burning, it's good to you know check those, what the local county ordinances and everything are prior to doing so and what notifications are needed. In Wichita, Kill Chapman, 12 News. It's a major economic investment for a central Kansas community. KMW, a company that designs attachments for backhoes, front loaders, and other vehicles, announced it's building a new North American headquarters in Sterling. This is expected to create more than 250 jobs. KMW selected Sterling after a rigorous competition among Midwestern states. The company investing $105 million to construct the new facility. A new shipping channel now open in Baltimore. That channel goes around the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, which collapsed last week. It provides an alternate path for some smaller boats. Meanwhile, welders are cutting away pieces of the collapsed bridge to clear away debris before fully reopening the channel. The impact of the closure is being felt on agriculture. We're going to have continued conversation with the state of Maryland uh, to get a sense of how much uh, this is going to cost. And we have said uh, we're going to uh, certainly continue to talk to Congress uh, to get some assistance here. Baltimore is the busiest port in the country for importing and exporting vehicles, including farm equipment. Still ahead for years, fire departments across the country have used firefighting foams with special chemicals to put out fires. But there's now a greener alternative made from soybeans. That story just ahead on Ion Agriculture.